Hey guys, so today we're gonna to be doing a Beautylish Lucky Bag unboxing. I got the regular Lucky Bag. I did not make it in time for the extra large Lucky Bag. It was sold out before I got there. So the Beautylish Lucky Bag is something that Beautylish has been doing for many, many years. This is probably the third, this is the third time I'm doing it. I know in the past, like I think last year, if you spent a certain amount at Beautylish, then you could qualify to try and get an extra large lucky bag. I think they did away with that this year. I think they just kind of opened it up and it was like first come first serve. I've got my scissors here. Let's go ahead and open this together. And we've got the crane there. If you guys have never ordered from Beautylish before, their packaging, their shipping department, their packaging, everything about them, customer service, everything is so, so amazing. And while I'm trying to get this open, I'll read you what's on the tag here. It says, Lucky Bags are a Japanese New Year custom that inspired us to create our own. The crane on this year's Lucky Bag symbolizes longevity and good luck. We hope the surprises inside make your 2020 a little more lucky. Let's see. All right, everything is nicely wrapped up tightly in this bubble wrap. All right, the first thing, ooh, I got a Juno Co sponge. I really like these sponges, so I'm really excited. I'm not gonna open it just yet because I have a lot of sponges going on. These Juno Co sponges are the ones that have that kind of like velvety microfiber on the outside. And I really thought it was gonna be kind of gimmicky, but I really like the feeling. And if you do kind of use it in like a swiping motion, it really does a nice job like kind of smoothing out lines and stuff. So I really like the sponge, so. That is awesome. Ooh, I got an R & Co Spiritualized Dry Shampoo Mist. That looks very promising. I just started playing around with some R & Co products, and I know I've been like threatening you guys with a hair care video, which I am still testing out some products. I think I'm gonna have to break it up now into a couple videos. Anyway, just started playing around with some R & Co products, and I'm liking them. This one I have not tried yet, so I'm excited to try that. And then I've got a little Travel Size Orbe Gold Lust Dry Shampoo. Awesome, and then, let's see, I have a Good Molecules, ah, Silicone Free Priming Moisturizer. I already have one of these that I need to test out, so I guess I'll put this into a future giveaway because there's, there's really only so much priming moisturizer I can use in a lifetime. So I'm gonna put this in a future giveaway. Ooh, that's exciting. Oh my God, oh my God, I just got so excited. Oh my God, okay, I got a Ray Morris brush. You guys, I have been wanting to try the Ray Morris brush line for so, so long. Ray Morris is a makeup artist. She has like a master class, a book. She has beautiful range of brushes that were all handcrafted in Japan. And I, you know, I just have a lot of brushes and I have a lot of brushes that I love. But oh wow, I have a lot of her brushes just kind of sitting in my shopping cart and I just haven't been able to pull the trigger. Oh my God, why can't I get this open? I'm too excited. So this one is the number 21 mineral buffer. So it's like a flat top kabuki, but she has like a whole system where her brushes are like um, magnetic and she has like this kind of like frame where you can sit the brushes in. I don't really have the room for that, but it looks beautiful. You know what? I'm gonna go into the Beautylish site right now because I'm just so curious and get some details on this brush. So this number 21 uh, mineral buffer is a mineral buffing brush made with natural goat Socoho bristles. The extra soft bristles have been optimized to lend even very sensitive or dry skin, a polished airbrushed look. Ah, oh, I'm so, so excited to give this a shot and I'm so, so excited to finally have a Ray Morris brush to play around with. <laughs> All right, we've got a couple more things here. Oh, we've got the um, Hourglass Confession Ultra Slim High Intensity Refillable Lipstick. This is in the color If Only. I have tried these Confession lipsticks and while they are far, far from horrible, it's just not my favorite uh, formula. I find them to be a little silicone and thick. They're like those lipsticks that go on like real smooth and real nice and really pigmented at first. They're really comfortable and then within like a half hour I feel like they dry down and my lips get really really dry feeling. So I am going to put this into a future giveaway as well but I just wanted to show you this refillable case. It's so beautiful. And then there's the if only color which is lovely. 
But yeah, I'm gonna put this into a future giveaway. It would be a total waste if I kept it and just, you know, never used it. And then, oh, I also got an Hourglass Caution Extreme Lash Mascara. I have heard very, very good things about this mascara. And I think I have a little tester or, you know, like a little travel size of it. Um, and I just never got around to using it. So I'm excited to give this a shot. And then last but not least, the Riviera palette. So this is one of the palettes that Anastasia Beverly Hills came out with last year. Here is like a preview pic of it. You know, I'm gonna open it just to make sure none of it is broken, but I'm gonna put this in a giveaway also because I feel like this is a palette that I would use maybe once or twice. Yeah, and just never use it ever again. I think that like hot pink color and the turquoise, like shimmery shades. I mean, this is such a fun and beautiful, beautiful palette. I just know I'm not gonna use it that often. So I would rather put this in a giveaway and make sure someone out there got it that is going to love it, love it, and give it the time and attention that it deserves. I remember when this came out and people were so excited for it and people were putting up videos and the looks that people were getting from this palette were Stunning. So this is a great addition to this lucky bag, but I'm gonna tuck this away. I have so much eyeshadow. So, so much eyeshadow. So that's it for this lucky bag. So this is gonna go into a future giveaway, these three things, the Priming Moisturizer, the Hourglass Confession Lipstick, and the ABH Riviera palette. And I'm really excited for this Ray Morris brush. I'm really excited for this Hourglass mascara the Juno & Co sponge. You can never have enough sponges, and I love this one. And now I'm completely stocked up on dry shampoos. These are perfect for travel, and you guys know I travel quite a bit. Well, that is it for my lucky bag. Thank you guys so, so much for tuning in. I look forward to this lucky bag every year. I think it comes at like the most perfect time because I feel like there's such a lull after like the buzz and the hecticness of the holiday season, and January is always so like, it's just kind of a downer and the lucky bag has become just such a nice like bright spot for me come January so anyway give this video a thumbs up if you enjoyed it subscribe down below if you haven't already and I'll see you in my next video